The works in Tokyo Fuji Art Museum's collection of Japanese art were created from the Heian period to the early modern era. This exhibition is a distillation of the artistic achievement, honed over a millennium, organized in a format to both engage and entertain viewers by keying on such readily relatable words as kimokawa, repulsive yet adorable, samurai, design, gold or golden, four seasons, Mount Fuji, verbal cues to provide a comprehensive overview of Japan's cultural quintessence crafted by premier artists over an epoch. This video features the exhibition's finest paintings, ukiyo-e prints, lacquerware, katana swords, and samurai armor. Let's walk through this fascinating visual tour.日本美術に登場するモチーフは現代の私たちから見ると時に大変可愛く感じられます。丸山王郷の描く犬は愛おしさを感じさせる可愛い魅力を放ち、それが昭和の描く鶴は気持ち悪さや不気味さを持ちなが
a rare and extremely valuable piece of art. Tachi, important cultural property signed by Ichi. Designated an important cultural property, this sword was made by the Fukuoka Ichimonji School nearly 800 years ago. The school's name is derived from its provenance, Fukuoka, and Ichimonji, Ichi meaning number one, purportedly after retired Emperor Gotoba, complemented the sword-making school for making products that were the finest in the country. ワラヤソータズに始まり、小型コーディング発展させ、堺宝一や鈴木キーツに代表される林派の絵師たち。Folding screen with design of white chrysanthemums, Hasegawa School. The boldly rendered chrysanthemums, hedges, earthen slopes, and streaming water on this gold based six segment screen are a defining trait of the sliding door screen art from some 400 years ago. The natural splendor, done in a simple yet distinct manner, is representative of a school of Japanese art founded in that time. Folding screen with design of pine and cherry blossoms attributed to Tawaraya Sotatsu. In a deft design move, the screen is slashed diagonally with green pine trees, which is then skillfully highlighted with contrasting gold. Although the work lacks Sotatsu's signature or seal, Everything from its insightful yet bold composition to decorative styling makes a credible case of his authorship. Sliding Door with Design of Wind God and Thunder God by Suzuki Kitsu. This work is a reconstruction of the Wind God and Thunder God motif rendered by the great Rinpa masters. While they confined the two gods to a pair of sliding door screens, Kitsu employed four doors with a god on each side. He chose to depict the gods in delicate whites and greens and grading clouds with ink bleeds, resulting in a masterpiece that is as dynamic as it is commanding. In his book, The Travels of Marco Polo, the famed Venetian merchant described Japan as the land of gold, a description that has resonated deeply in Japanese art and culture since ancient times. We see this resonance in the proliferation of gold foil and gold paint in grand folding screens, as well as in the extravagant use of gold lacquer and ornamentation in handcrafted pieces. In and around the city of Kyoto, Kano School. This genre of painting offers a panoramic bird's eye view of Kyoto, replete with landmarks and historic sites within the ancient capital and its outskirts, seasonal events, and hovering golden clouds, rendered on a pair of six panel folding screen painted boldly in the center of the left half is Nijo Castle while the Hokoji Buddha Hall, which was built at the behest of Japanese ruler Toyotomi Hideyoshi, occupies the right half by portraying such events as the Gion Festival and other activities of townspeople, it conveys in vibrant fashion the general prosperity enjoyed at the time. Folding screen with design of the scenes from the tale of Genji, artist unknown. Since the medieval to modern eras, what is termed Genji art has been a ubiquitous and classical motif pursued by artists across manifold schools of Japanese art. While the artist of this work is unknown, it resembles that done by Iwasa Matabe some 400 years ago, rendering 12 scenes from the tale of Genji over 12 folding screen panels, each panel cleverly separated by golden clouds or hedges. The Date family's palanquin with arabesque design in maquillé lacquer, owned by Princess Mune, 
This palanquin is nothing short of premier luxury, borne on human shoulders, featuring sliding doors. Ordinary carriages were open-air constructs, while richly colored landscapes and flowers are meticulously depicted on a gold background. Built for Princess Mune, the daughter of a feudal lord, as a dowry for her marriage to another lord in 1785, the palanquin also boasts emblems of sparrows with bamboo and sets of three vertical bars family crests of her clan. 季節の表現は日本美術の歴史と広がりにおいて大きな比重を占めています。季節を描くことは自然描写と相まって古くは平安時代から広く行われてきました。四季をモチーフにしたものは絵画、工芸など幅広いジャンルで貴族や武士、そ